So moving on to uh, the comment section, you know, comments are nothing but uh, a simple piece of, uh, you know, uh, content or a text or a HTML code that needs to be ignored by the browser. So what it means by that, let's say, uh, there, let's say I'll give you a concept, right? So let's say there are like, you're, you're taking a piece of paper and you're writing uh, something. My name is Alex, right? And then you're writing, how are you, right? And then I am 12 years old. So let's say this is line number one and this is line number two. And this is line number three. So when you type an HTML code, the browser will read like this step one, step two and step three. So this is how it is going to read, right? So what if you think that you want to miss out or you want to make the browser understand temporarily or permanently, you want to eliminate this line too, right? So you want to display, my name is Alex. I am 12 years old, right? So this is what you want to write. So let's see how we can do that. So, so what we can do is you can use a HTML common tag, right? This is the starting uh, tag. This is the ending tag and whatever is in between will be ignored. For example, Let's look at this example, right? So what is displayed uh, in the, let's look at what's, what's displayed in this uh, stuff. It is a sample paragraph. It's a paragraph. There is another paragraph. And then you're commenting something like simple HTML comment within these two comment tags, right? So this is the start comment comment end in other words ignore this particular thing while the code is being read by the browser so let's look at a simple example right i will use the w3 browser which is easy to explain and also you can practice in your own time about the various codes i'm going to use this comments right so now, so as I said, you know, anything you write between this is going to be ignored, right? So let's try it ourselves. So you see a doc type, which is the document type element. You see the HTML root tag, and then also you see the body of the element. In this case, the header is missed, but that's fine. You know, they don't want the header or the title. So for now, let's focus on understanding what this comment section is. So you see the comment start and the comment end script or the tag. And similarly, you see something here. And similarly, you see something here as well. When you run this code, you're able to see only this is paragraph, right? You're able to see only this one. So what really happens is anything that is between this tag and this tag is kind of ignored, right? So let's say, you know, I add another tag, which says a comment tag I meant, right? So I want to position this this way, right? It doesn't matter whatever is enclosed within this comment tag, right? Whatever is enclosed within this comment tag if you run it, nothing will show. So in other words, what you're telling the browser is do not consider this piece of text. Do not consider this piece of code. Do not consider this piece of element which is coming inside this comment section. So in other words, going back to the theory, you are saying that to ignore, right? To ignore any element that comes within this tag, right? So we also showed an example, right? We also saw an example. Let's see if there are any comment section in typically well developed application, you will not be able to see a comment tag, but let's give it a try. 
this is Flipkart by the way. So I went to the Flipkart site and I gave you page source which will give you what is the page, uh, what is the HTML uh, you know, uh, tags or uh, the content that you will see. As you can see there are so many things you know, Apple touch icons. It means something to the developer, Twitter meta tags. It tells very clearly these tags that come under are pertaining to the Twitter tags. You know, it, it goes into something. So it has a meta tag, it has an attribute, it has multiple attributes in fact. So let's not worry about it right now. We'll see in the later part of the section to understand more about it. But, but to give you a uh, quick uh, overview of the comment tag, it is used in applications where if they want to ignore a particular statement or ignore a piece of code as you can see this this green colored or high, anything that is highlighted in green is is being ignored right so so with that let's wrap up this comment section so it's very clear that anything that comes within these two braces right these two tags the content which is inside doesn't matter it is a text link or any code snippet it will be ignored 